I've been working here at Kendrick Fish Culture Unit for approximately nine years. Uh, since starting, I've been breeding water voles for release into suitable receptor sites across South Wales, sites where the habitat is excellent, uh, but water voles are, are absent or have probably been wiped out some time ago. We've probably released close to a thousand water voles uh, to help populate sites such as Slangos Lake in 2009, followed by Mega Marsh on the Gwent Levels, uh, Freud Farm near Pembrey in West Wales, um, and our current programme of work at Cosmiston Lakes Country Park near Penarth in conjunction with the Villa de Morgan County Council. There are a number of reasons why we release water voles into the wild. Firstly, they are a priority species for conservation in Wales and the UK. The numbers here have declined by approximately 90% since the 1980s um, and they are the fastest declining mammal in the UK at the moment. Also our organisation NRW has a duty to maintain and enhance uh, biodiversity and the creation of water world populations certainly does enhance our aquatic and wetland ecosystems. The water world is a key species in the food chain with many native predators such as foxes, stoats, herons and other birds of prey and their presence can also positively affect the nitrogen cycle making nutrients available for more diverse species rich plant communities which in turn benefits insect numbers and higher, higher species. Reintroductions um, have proven to be very successful in Wales. The projects I've been involved with have all shown continual signs of, of water voles uh, through different monitoring techniques, uh, some many years after the release dates. Um, at Down at Mega Marsh, we've, uh, we've observed water voles occurring over 10 kilometres away from the core release areas. These projects work very well at sites where the land is protected and managed sympathetically for water voles, such as triple SIs or nature reserves and also where mink control can be maintained for the foreseeable future. The introduction of North American mink in the UK was, was detrimental to water world populations. They're an, an effective and, and fierce predator um, and not only do they impact our water world populations but they're also a threat to, to other priority species such as grass snakes, crayfish, swans, ground nesting birds like nat lapwing, just to name a few. Um, and also their the control will benefit the environments around the water wall areas and improve biodiversity. Female mink um, are small enough to actually access burrow systems of water voles um, and in these situations whole colonies can be wiped out fairly quickly. We've had a lot of positive feedback from our latest project at Cosmiston Lakes where park visitors have, have expressed their delight in watching water voles swimming across the pond, chewing lilies off and feeding on the bank um, and it's really rewarding to hear that our efforts have made people's days just a little bit better.